What does it mean to you when I say red? Or how about blue? Or yellow? Or green? Of course, most of us immediately picture colored cupcakes. Or is that just me? The truth is that a lot of people only see the world in shades of gray. Well, now one innovator has unlocked the color palette to all of those who have been blind to it. Here's Ali Ward to explain. This is the emotion of seeing something for the very first time. It's blue? Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that 8% of all men are colorblind? In other words, one in every 12 men cannot fully appreciate a colorful sunset. For women, that number is one in 200. Colorblindness is broadly defined as the inability to distinguish one or several colors. With the creative vision of the people at a company called Enchroma, there are now glasses that give people who are colorblind the ability to see life in vivid color. This is innovator Don McPherson, and he is the chief scientist behind these glasses. Back around 2003, I was playing at an Ultimate Frisbee tournament, and I happened to have with me a pair of glasses which I had made for a completely different utility, which was for medical laser surgery. And a friend of mine borrowed them, and he was colorblind. And he said that for the first time in his life, he could see the fluorescent orange marker cones against the green grass. And so, of course, I couldn't let it go. Don is not colorblind, but he utilized his degrees in mathematics, art, ceramics, and blast science, along with a lot of additional research, to comprehend what the brain needs to unlock color for a person who cannot otherwise see it. I went to Berkeley, California to meet Don and to learn more about these special glasses. You can imagine them as a doorway to perception. Mm -hmm. And what's on the other side of the doorway is color. So someone who has abnormal vision, they're looking at a strawberry plant going, I don't see red, mm -hmm. I don't see green, I don't have the right signal. You put on the glasses, open the door, and it's, there you go. Right. Red fruit, green leaves. This is, is this red? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is really red? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is amazing. I feel like I've been seeing hazy my whole life. <laughs> the emotional component of this technology can't be understated. These people are seeing the colors of the world for the first time. This is the first time I've seen the color of your eyes. Imagine how the absence of color cues can impact learning for both children and adults. For a child who hasn't been diagnosed with colorblindness, is that perceived as a learning disability? Well, I'm sure it is to the teacher. They're the ones who get the feedback that the child isn't following along. And without the additional information that the child is colorblind, they have no way of knowing. Even for people with color normal vision like me, the glasses make existing colors pop, as I found out. If you go up and down with the glasses, you'll see that the greens get much more intense. <gasps> ah! Oh, that's crazy! <laughs> if you're color deficient, everything is just a bit muted, kind of sepia. Not everything, just the part of the color spectrum that's responsible for our perception of green and red and, by extension, purple. And sometimes a new perspective, or a new lens, can transform the world as we know it. Wow. I am actually, I'm actually crying. That is amazing. I got to see my first sunrise. <laughs>